is Dallas Gordon here, your business mentor, and I wanted to record a video talking to you guys about something that I found that is a workaround for the Canva link tree. Um, it is actually free um, to use and it is amazing. So guys, if you are new here, a big, huge welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for jumping on this video. Um, if you love what you see here on the channel, definitely give me a subscribe and drop me some comments below. Okay, so we're gonna just jump right into it, guys. Um, I recorded a video recently teaching how to create a link tree inside of Canva. And while the link tree does look amazing, it is a little glitchy at the moment. As much as I love Canva, guys, okay? So <laughs> I absolutely love Canva. The link tree um, is a little glitchy. Sometimes it shows up beautifully when you attach it to your Instagram. Other times it's way too big or some of the links don't show. Or I've even heard some people saying that it doesn't show up at all. And it could possibly be um, how Canva is hosting it. Um, I don't know for sure. But let me just tell you that I am using, I was using the Canva link tree for my business, dgjournals.com for my product-based business. And I went there one day and it was like enlarged. Like when I pulled it up on my phone, it was enlarged. And then I asked some other people to pull it up and they were saying that it wasn't. And then one day I had some people trying to sign up for the waiting list for my subscription box, guys. And it was just, it wasn't allowing people to sign up. And we know how we are about our promotions and things like that. We don't want for people to miss them because it's glitches and issues on our end. So I quickly had to search the internet for something that looked really good um, that I could replace it with. I really didn't really want to use Linktree, the website Linktree. I wanted something that looked a little better to me. And I found something amazing, guys, and it's completely free. So I just want to show you guys what it is and how I've used this and I was able to from my mobile phone replace my link tree in literally minutes okay so here it is it's called flow dot page it's completely free for you to create your account I'll be sure to include my link below so you guys could sign up with my link um, and it allows you to create really really quickly a beautiful link tree um, and so far so good no problems with it it looks great so this link tree, guys, it's pretty plain, but what I really do like about it is, is that you can add and feature different things. So here's mine. I just put mine on a black background for DG Journals Co. I put my description here. Um, if someone clicks here, it acts as a business card and it adds, um, it will add your contact information. Um, they'll be able to save your contact information really quickly, which I really like. So it allows them to add your contact information to their contacts by just clicking the button. If they click the envelope, they can quickly just email you. Um, and I don't know if I can like go over to it, which I will try real quick, guys, to see if I can really show you a better view of what it's looking like. Um, but it would definitely look better from the mobile phone. So let me just go over to my page and I'm gonna click here. You see I have flowpage.ggjournalco here as a link. So I'm just gonna click there just so I can show you guys how it looks. So it even looks great, guys, on desktop. It's just loading right now, okay? So, all right, so this is a better view. So if you were to click add to contacts, this will actually save my contact information as an electronic business card and they can also save it to their phone. I think that this is amazing. If they click the envelope, they'll be able to, um, I believe if I put something in here, they'll be able to email. They'll be able to send an um, email. It's blocking it for some reason, but it will email my email address if they click this button here. Um, the first uh, tab I added was a tab to shop and it allows you to add these cutesy little icons too next to each option. So I put like a little shopping bag there. Um, and then here, my October box is now open. This takes them to be able to sign up. Here they can follow us on Facebook. And then under here, it allowed me to feature a video. So one of the um, accounts that I work with, with dgjournals.com, um, she featured our um, journal and some other items on her account. And she did a YouTube video. So I included that video here. So it's amazing, right? 
So it allows you to create this. It's very simple. It's free. So let's go inside a flow page, guys, and just kind of see what it's looking like. So this is what it looks like, guys. Um, if you want to, um, you put your information in here. You put your contact information in here. And this is where you're kind of going to reorganize and drag and drop all of your links. You can also share your page if you want to by sharing this flow code as well, which I'm not doing, but it's something that you can do. Um, so these are all the widgets and I'm just going to show you the different widgets that they have and options that you have. As you can see, you can add links, all these different social media platforms you can add. You can even add Vimeo, YouTube videos, TikTok. Um, you can see all these different Pinterest, uh, all these different things that you can add to your flow page. Okay. Um, the contact information, they have something where you can actually co collect contact information from your videos. You can embed a video like I did. You can embed Spotify if you want to. You can upload a PDF directly to your flow page, which would be amazing if you wanted to give a free PDF. Um, you can embed a lot of other things, audio, media, live streams, anything that you want. Let's just say you wanted to embed your latest Facebook live stream. You could do that if you wanted to as well as your store hours. Okay, and down here is where you're just gonna click and add all of the information about your store. They allow you to upload a photo here and just put your name and all of your information here and then you can save it. Um, and then under here is where you can add all of your contact information. As you can see, I only put in the email for my store, but whatever contact information you have, if you're a physical location, your address, anything you want, you can put that in there. And then from here, this is where all you can drag and drop and reorganize all of the content and links that you have saved and added. OK, from here, it's going to give you a link right up here at the top. Once you create an account, it'll give you your own link. You're literally just going to copy this link by hitting the square. And then when you go over on Instagram, you're going to go to your settings. OK, for your profile on Instagram and just update that link that people can click with your flow page link, guys. I feel like this is a game changer right now. It's completely free. Um, you can even customize your style options. So I could have done other colors like pink. I could have done um, blue over here and things like that or whatever other colors I wanted to. I could have done that. That's all here. Um, and then they have different styles that you can use for this. Um, they also have, these have coming soon where you'll be able to change your background to an image gradient and different things like that so they've also got some amazing changes in the making they've also got analytics guys where it's showing you how many people have um used this it looks like they've got a pro plan for 4.95 a month where it's going to give you more analytics so the only thing that you really have to pay for guys and it's early access is 4.95 a month if you want more advanced analytics which i don't necessarily want for this um, but it's telling me I've had 120 sessions since I've added the button, 88 unique vid visitors and things like that. Um, and all these are saying zero right now, which I know is not true, but <laughs> I know it's not because I know I've had some clicks. Um, but I guess that's where the pro analytics comes in, guys. I'm not sure. So this is the video. This is what you can do with flow page. This is amazing. So I definitely just wanted to share this as kind of like a workaround for those who don't want to use Linktree and your Canva is glitchy or you just don't, you're not sure whether or not you want to use Canva. This is a different option that is available to you. So definitely comment below. Let me know if you've ever used this, if you're going to try this and all that good stuff. And you guys be blessed. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. See you guys on the next one.